What's going on guys, Mac Junkie here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the official release of the Panorama UI in CSGO. Now, as you guys know, if you played CSGO in the last few weeks or so, Panorama is now default across the board. So if you're playing CSGO, the last time you launched it, you probably saw Panorama, whether you had it in your launch options or not. So what I'm gonna be doing in this video is seeing if there's any FPS difference, good or bad, compared to the old UI. Because I know people with slower computers Computers are probably worried about this more fancy looking OS, or not OS, sorry, but uh, this more fancy looking UI in the game. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys my launch options here just to show you um, what I have. I just have, uh, let me see if I can get all the way back to the beginning here. I got all these different launch options to help my frame rate. And as you can see, pan dash panorama is no longer in here and it does not need to be. And uh, as of now, I do not think there is a way to disable the panorama UI. However, if there is, I will try to make an update video on that topic. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the game and we're gonna run some tests to see if the FPS has changed or not. All right, guys, I'm now in CSGO. Now up in the top left corner, I have MSI Afterburner open so we can see the temperature, the FPS, and my usage on my GPU and CPU, as well as RAM. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull up some footage from the last video I did talking about FPS boosting and performance increases. So that way we can have an average so we can see if there is any increase or decrease. But as you can see, there's definitely a big frame increase. I'm sitting at around 145 FPS 150, and sometimes I will jump up to 180 and 190. So guys, as you heard there, I said that I averaged 140 FPS and sometimes I would bump up to 180. So those are the numbers we are going to go by. And if you are curious, that was taken, that or that clip was taken from my 8 gigabyte versus 12 gigabytes of RAM video. So that clip was taken while I had 12 gigabytes of RAM, which is what I currently have. And I will also be playing at the same settings, which is everything on low at 1080p. So let's go ahead and hop into a game and we'll see how it does. Alright guys, so here we are in a match of CSGO. Now, uh, as you can see, I'm currently averaging about 150 to 60 FPS. Uh, no bumps here, this is just the simple average. Staying at about 160 all the time. Now, it is a little bit hard to see that FPS up there because it's kind of blocked by the... Uh, the callouts up there, but as you can see, it's all it's up to about 170 right now. But there is a higher average by about 20 FPS. Now, this isn't really definitive. This could simply be from just there's so many different features. I mean, or uh, factors. I did disable the the uh, the uh, cool looking wallpaper I had. I disabled all my background notifications, so that way I could get the maximum amount of FPS. As you saw there, we dropped down to 132, and now we're back up to 170 and back down to 150. So it really doesn't seem like things have changed too much, but of course if you're on a very slow system, you're going to be able to notice the incremental changes much more than I am. But from my viewpoint here, it looks like it's staying about the same. As you look right now, it almost looks like it's staying at 120 and 130, maybe even dropping a little bit, but it is kind of fluctuating around everywhere, so I can't really tell if there is a boost or a drop. Uh, now it's back up to 150. So um, go ahead and tell me, guys, uh, if you have a slower PC and uh, you were worried about this panorama UI update slowing down your system, did it or did it actually just stay the same? Uh, anyways, guys, that was a really quick video. I just had no idea. I just wanted to do a little test here. It seems like it may even be a little bit lower for me. But uh, anyways, guys, go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me how it was. If you guys like this video, please be sure to leave a like. If you liked it a lot, subscribe as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.